We're going to start our journey by asking the basic questions. What is energy in buildings and when do we use energy in buildings? When I say energy in buildings, I'm going to be meaning uh, any kind of energy uh, source like uh, electricity, gas and other sources that we use in our daily life to function uh, in our buildings. For example, heating and cooling for our buildings. Uh, lighting our buildings, uh, ventilation and any kind of other sources uh, that we consume in our daily life. The important question now is when do we use our energy? Like when do we heat and cool uh, our buildings? And uh, can we analyze the, the use of the building for the whole year? For example, for 20 years so I can predict how much the, the inhabitants gonna pay. So this is what we are going to start with now like when do we heat and cool our buildings uh, according to ASHRAE uh, standards which is the the guideline for uh, energy efficiency in buildings the comfort temperature for human being is between 20 degrees to 24 degrees this is uh, the normal human being uh, comfort temperature so like of course it the differ or like depends on the person himself uh, or like other factors like the air velocity and the humidity but basically this is what we have to know that uh, human comfort temperature is about 20 but the exterior temperature is not always 20 like what a great life that would be of course we have like temperatures up to 40 and like temperature in some places down to minus uh, 30 or so here is where uh, energy consumption become active so our main key is to keep the interior temperature as comfortable as we can so uh, when it becomes hotter than uh, 26 25 uh, then we will start activating our um, cooling system or when it becomes uh, like less than 18 or so then we will activate our heating system and this is when uh, energy uh, consumption begins so this is what i meant by saying analyzing the uh, energy consumption for the whole year because we have the data for the uh, exterior uh, temperature for the whole years we know like in june it's going to be hot uh, and um, in, in January it's going to be uh, cold and we know like uh, like how much the range of of the temperature is so when we have all of that data we can check how much our building in this area is energy consuming